Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Bowel video. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to revisit uh, a tutorial I did uh, a while ago uh, when Elementor uh, first came out. And that's with the section column gap. Uh, this is still confusing a lot of people, newcomers and uh, people that have been using it for a while. And it's kind of, in my opinion, a little bit of a misnomer. Uh, I think it should be named uh, Column Content Gap, uh, for lack of a better term. And um, so anyways, I hope this uh, little quick tutorial is going to uh, uh, help clear that up. Because let's go take a look. This is what we're going to work with here tonight, or in this video, as I'm doing it tonight. I'll... Anyways, so a lot of people, I'm not going to say everybody, but a lot of people, myself included, when I first started with Elementor, and I saw a column gap, I thought that this was what they were to referring to when they mentioned, you know, narrow wide, extended, uh, and the like. But that's not the case. What, they are, what the column gap refers to is the gap between the column contents and the column border. Right, and right now you'll see that this is, I think, set to the default. So let's go uh, to Elementor and take a look. Now we'll sh show you how to set this up, what you thought was the column gap, uh, towards the end of the video. So anyways, uh, that's in a test one. Let's go over there, edit with Elementor. So, here's our, uh, let's uh, select a section, right click, section. Yep, column gap default, okay. Now watch, we'll change them. No gap. You see what I mean? Narrow. Extended. Wide. Wider. It's the gap between the content and the border of the column. That is what column gap is. This here, this space is not the column gap. You set that from the individual column settings. Right? I'll show you how I have this one set up. If I go click on this section, oops, column, advanced. You can see that I've unlinked the margins and I've set the right margin to 10. Here it is. And this same kind of thing over here on the right column. Oops. Let's go try that. Edit column. Advanced. Unlink them. And set the left margin to 10 so that we have an equal space and that ends up with equal uh, width columns and you can see here that I've got a spacer uh, because you need some content within a column to show the styling right so if you didn't have these set right um, let's go back here edit column so let's go just I don't know where that one came from for that. And uh, edit column here and set those to zero. This is how it would look uh, after you first set this up. Added two columns and did that. And then you say, and you start then messing around with the column gap, wider, narrow, blah, blah, blah. You're wondering why there's no gap there. Well, that's not what column gap does. Column gap does this right so again yeah I got it 
go back to the column, make sure it's unlinked, <laughs> set the right one to whatever you want. Let's go 20 and come over here to the right one and unlinked and set the left one to 20. And there you go. Now there is a gap between the columns. Okay. Well, I hope that's clearer than mud now. Um, I'll tell you honestly, uh, it confused me initially too because initially I thought that this was the column gap right here that you set uh, with this. And it is not. It is this value between the content and the column. Now, with this text widget, say, well, yeah, it bumps up a lot against that. And I put a red border around the, uh, uh, oops. You can see I put a red border around the text widget just so you can see what's going on. But if you go over here and you need to get some space between that, we'll just put some, uh, some padding in there. And then you get that. Okay, so let's go take a look at it here and that sort of thing. So I hope that's helped. I'll just update that so I have that for later and uh, clarify some stuff with the old column gap. And uh, hope that helps you with laying out your sites and uh, making awesome websites with WordPress and Elementor. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also here on the Sniffle Valve site, uh, to be kept up to date on what's going on, and thank you for watching, and we will see you again next time.